all know the atomic bomb is very dangerous. Since it may be used against us, we must get ready for it. Just as we are ready for many other dangers, fire is a danger. It can burn whole buildings if someone is careless. It can burn whole buildings if someone is careless. It can burn whole buildings if someone is careless. It can burn whole buildings if someone is careless. It can burn whole buildings if someone is careless. It can burn whole buildings so you know what to do. It can burn whole buildings if someone is careless. It can burn whole buildings if someone is careless. It can burn whole buildings we are ready for fire. Since it may be used against us if someone is careless. And you have fire drills in your school. We have a fine fire department to put out the fire. And you have fire drills in your school. So you know what to do if someone is careless. And you have fire drills in your school. We have a fine fire department to put out the fire. And you have fire drills in your school. So you know what to do if someone is careless. Automobiles can be dangerous too. If someone is careless. They sometimes cause bad acts. someone is careless. We are ready. If someone is careless. We have safety rules. Now, if someone is careless. Automobiles can be dangerous too. If someone is careless. They sometimes cause bad acts. someone is careless. We are ready. If someone is careless. We must be ready for a new danger. God! Afternoon, morning, evening, or night. There it is. I knew it was coming and I wanted to wait until it arrived before I said anything at all. Thank you for the oh, sub. Damn, it's been 22 months. It really has been. Thank you, Ivora, and thank you, Just Ospin, for the subscriptions. Eee. Thank you, Memlord Guy, as well, for the subscriptions. How are you guys doing on this fine, fine Saturday? Nice. Is this. Yeah, it's Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> that was well timed. You guys doing good. You guys doing great. Synonyms for good. Antonyms for bad. Antonyms for good. Synonyms for bad. Such a goated stream. Happy to be here for so long. Thank you, Jan. Thank you, Jan, for the tier two. Uh, hey, uh, Susan Woodings VA here. Hope you enjoyed this entry. Caroline, welcome. And yeah, I'm I'm excited. I am really excited. Today is a good day. It's a very, very good day. I got some good progress done on the Baldi video to the point that I can officially say that in terms of visuals, we are about 10 minutes away from me completing the main visual pass for the Baldi's basics video leaving just the animations and the sound effects to go. So that's some good news. The second bit of good news is also the fact that I actually will have a launch date for the plushies. You guys have or you guys have been asking for a year at this point. <coughs> You guys have been asking for a year and it's arriving soon. Anyway, before I get distracted of everything, Swell Nips, thank you for the sub. Thank you. <coughs> I got, I got to wait for everything to go through. Let me refresh. But thank you guys for all the subs. But yes, it is, it's finally here. Chat, you already know to say hi to YouTube. You know the etiquette. You just turned me orange. Now I have to wait until I'm not orange before I can, before I go through anything. But chat, you already know the drill. You already, you already know the, uh, what, what we do, the, the fire drill. Yeah, you already know who up Walton they files. Who I, who up who actually is up Walton their files? I am so excited, but I need to I need to I, I need to maintain my excitement um, for uh, for for the video. I need to maintain my excitement. I need to shh 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 guys shh. Anyway, all right, chat. Say hi to say hi to YouTube, but. I've been doing that for the past three years. Yeah, I could tell. I'm, I'm so, I'm so very excited. Like I have this. So, um, gonna have to wait for all the subs to go through. Thank you, thank you for all the uh, subscriptions and the bits. Literally waited all day for this, and I've been avoiding spoilers. Will only Walton Files with you, that. Thank never you. Been this early. You seem super excited, Lamau. Right, right. Anyway, okay. Chat. Have you said hi to YouTube? Have you said hello? Because we're just gonna go straight for it. Anyway. What we're doing today is located across the entirety of the next screen. And on the next screen is a thing that I am very, very, very excited for. In fact, it's one of the most popular streams that, that I've ever had. In fact, I think the stream of me watching this next thing is at 600,000 views on the VOD channel. And I'm kicking myself for not making a T9 video, but I'm not making the same mistake now. And what we are doing is in the middle of the very next screen and it is none other than, chat, drum roll please. Drum roll. Drum roll. 
Can we get can we get a bit of a drum roll, please, while I set it up? Wait, wait for it, 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 wait, 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 wait. It's the Walton Files! Yes! It's finally up! It's finally uploaded after how long has it been since the last one? How long? It's been two years since Bunny Farm, and we are watching the very latest episode of The Walton Files. Now, I have actually admittedly been a little blind on it, because what I've done is that I've actually not watched any, and I mean any, of the uploads, the ARG stuff. I haven't looked at the website. I've done nothing so that I can watch any further episode of The Walton Files completely and utterly blind. But for those of you guys who don't know what the Walton Files are. I'm not going to tell- I'm really joking, I'm going to tell you. Um, if you would like to watch my experience watching the Walton Files with Mary, it will be linked in the description down below, but I'm going to make my editor edit in a couple of highlights about the Walton Files on the screen right now. All right, chat, everyone congratulate the editor on the job well done. It'll be really funny. <laughs> congratulate the editor on the job well done. They probably edited something really, really cool and good. It's probably, they edited all the, the funny moments. Like, there's lots of laugh-worthy moments, like the uh, the, the scene in the in the in the middle of, I think, the second one, where we had the um, the uh, the auto-tune. We also had the um, the the famous, my asshole burns, bruh. You know, you know those ones? Yeah, yeah, those ones. Yeah, the editor probably put all of those in the videos. Anyway. And now we're back. So I haven't actually seen the Walton Files 4 properly. I saw the premiere and I tuned in for it for about five minutes and then I was like, no, no, I'm going to watch it with you guys so we can have a live social event of watching the Walton Files. Now, it's no secret that the Walton Files is one of my favorite analog horror series, mainly because I think at the time when I first watched it, it was right before it blew up and it was just... It, I don't know. I, I don't know whether it was the production value or it was just the way the scares are done and how well drawn the distortions are compared to people just using the liquefied tool on Photoshop. I thought it was really, really well done. Even the spin-off stuff like Boozoo's Ghosts and The Mysterious House. I really, really liked the um, production value. So... From what everyone has been telling me so far without spoilers, The Walton Files 4 has a lot of increased production value. So if you guys would like a recap as to the first three Walton Files, watch the VOD linked in the description, or if you just skipped that montage that I made the editor show you, then why? why why'd you do that? Why? The editor worked so hard to give you a good montage and you skipped it. Anyway, I guess without further uh. Let's go and watch the Walton Files fur. <laughs> I, I was gonna say it'll be better if it was Walton Files two, but uh, let's just go for it. All right, all right. Volume up, lights out. All right, let's go. And I'm gonna make sure that I've gotta make sure that these this is gonna be at the top. I actually did some physical pieces for this episode, which is the biggest flex of my life. Really, really. I'm interested now. Oh my god, it's Pennywise's balloon. Oh my god. We're gonna see it in this episode. I can't wait. Oh, okay, never mind. It's blue. And it's purple. There it is. There it is. Oh yeah, so this, I'm believing this was the school, right? That um, the kids were picked up from. The spring event 1970 something. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. Ah! Animation now? Production value? That's that's an instant yo! Let's go! Oh, let me put the Alright, sorry, let me put the subtitles at the top. Hang on, hang on. There we go. Alright, is this better? Is this better? Subtitles at the top? Alright, good, good. Let's go. The spring party event at Brighton Community School. Everyone knows that you don't get anything good at Brighton. Now we got animations. I can see why this took a while. Look, there he is. Felix about to be drunk afterwards. Adult zone, no children allowed. Don't go in, wait, wait, no, don't go in. Don't go in, you're not allowed. No children allowed. They got sent to the void. <laughs> they went out of bounds. 
Are they in heaven? Did they actually... Wait! 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 Sorry, I have to stop. I think I've already put a link there. Is that supposed to be the afterlife because of what happened on the on the drive back in Bunny Farm? Wait, wait a second. Wait a second, wait. I think I've... There's only one way to find out, I guess. Bunny Smiles Company. Is that the... Oh my god, he's in the Yonky Sploinky. <laughs> Cyber Fun Tech. Oh my god. Oh my god. I instantly clocked this. I clocked where the logo's from. Is this meant to be a parody of the LJN logo? You know the angry video game nerds like Nemesis. Why does this look like the LJN logo? Alright, here we go. Here's the, the, the scary version of it. We'll chase our dreams across the sky. I still don't get it. These animatronics look terrifying. All right. Wait, don't scam me. No! Not in the video menu. Bonds Burgers promo, Cyberfun programming demo, shard joint movement, BSI cleaning procedure. Uh huh. BSI cleaning procedure? The real mystery is if we're going to see burgers in a burger restaurant. That's a good shout. Will we get will we get burgers in a burger restaurant? All right. I don't know whether it's going to be read, but I'm going to read it. Charles Brook, 10 10 1970. Hi, is it age? Hey, just got out. Just got out aired of wait. Just got air hired. I thought I was an A. I thought that was an A. Hmm. You got to work on your handwriting. He's gonna work on your handwriting, Charles! Charles! Anyway, just got hired officially as the computer supervisor for unnamed Bunny Smiles restaurant, though I've been coming up with a few names myself. I've known these guys for a while, they're family. I've done some work for them, along with Susan, for years now, even before Cyberfun Tech. Getting to meet the Waltons and the Crankins has been super, Fun. So excited to get to work. The future is bright. The future is bright. Hmm. Also, yes, subtitles are on. God, that logo is like... Hey, they're gonna do a bit... Look at the thighs on them! No, no, like I said this, me and Mary pointed this out on the last stream, but look at the thighs on them. Jesus Christ. Boozu. Oh, we already know what happened to Boozu. Those melon squashes. <laughs> You've spotted the difference. Good job. Why is, I, uh, I very am um, surprised that, that people actually enjoyed this. You know what I mean? In terms of the animatronic performance, like look at the stairs. Look at the stairs. Look at the, it just. Like I had footage of the Chuck E. Cheese one in my FNAF video and they didn't look that unsettling. Sure, ah sure, this is my favorite. She's having fun. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? What was that transition? We're going for a slideshow of Windows XP uh, wallpapers. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you can't just do that and expect me not to go back and check. What was the- that was the- Wait... What is he doing outside the office? Why, what are they doing outside the office? What are they doing outside- what, what is she doing outside the office? The third door. And there's Bon! 
Bond, Bond with his best cosplay of Jeb Bush. <laughs> yeah, he's spitting. I saw that for one second before that popped up. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Dude, the day I see a full Bond cosplay is the day I become God. I really think, I really think that no one who does a full Bond cosplay is going to live till the end of the day. Can we, can we see a bit of... Oh, so I think before Bond shows up, I th you know how all of them have a bit of a delay before they show up? Maybe that's a corpse? Because look, you see a few... Oh... Hello? Whomst? I need to remember whether I... So see, I haven't seen... I didn't catch myself up. So maybe I need to go back and do that, but... What, what, what Slenderman doing there with a the face? Oh, wait, I want to see what that bit said. I want to get crushed between Bond's thighs, TBH. Beautiful, isn't it? This is one of the first Behave. tech models built by Cyberfun Tech to bring the magic of Bond's burgers to life. Today, oh my god! We'll the Cyber Tech! <laughs> the magic of the showstoppers and how they were created. You might learn a thing or two about the quality of our company. The quality is terrible! Hey! Wait, he showed up again! He showed up again! Hang on. About the quality of our company. Okay, open Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Really? Till 10 p.m.? Doesn't that seem fairly late for like a family friendly? Hang on. There, there. He's there again. What is the? Okay, he show he showed up twice when Bond's on screen. I have a feeling he's linked to Bond, but I'm not going to say anything more. Hmm. Concept art. Wait! Hello? Sorry, I thought I heard something. These are the showstoppers. The face of Bunny Smiles, Inc. Concept art is a very vital part of any good design. So many different ideas to... Um... So many the ideas Bunny to... So many ideas to what? Concept art is a very vital part of any good design. So many different ideas to... To pick to what? The Bunny Smiles Incorporated Art Department was in charge of pitching up multiple Hats! designs. <laughs> is, is that, is that stuff nice? Characters. And creating the designs we all know and love. Rosemary Walton, loving wife of... Is a brilliant artist. Why did they, hang on a second, why do they constantly, they are, they are constantly cutting out Jack Walton from this. Rosemary Walton, loving wife of- And that cuts off as well. He's a brilliant artist with a huge passion for poetry and the theatrical, and has done numerous art pieces before becoming the lead artist in BSI. She's the one in charge of making the final designs that would later become the characters they are today. I think I always had a pretty clear idea of how each character looked like. April 30th, 1974. Alright, note that date down. Note that date down, guys. The designs just and also, I, isn't this Bruce's VA? I wanted to make them seem appealing to younger audience, while still being simple enough so they can be easy to remember. Bill, clown. I, you can't just keep putting these distortions. Like, what? I think it's the art style, the the grins. The grins are just so unsettling. Bunny smiles originally reached Cyberfront to make their blueprints for the animatronics. Ah, Susan! We all got so invested to the idea that we decided to have a full partnership with BSI. I'm Susan Wellick. Hang on, hang on. So, stuff keeps popping up, and I want to. Idea that we decided to have a full partnership with BSI. 
Is it just, what is that? I feel like I'm going to have to put this in Premiere soon. Or is that just a distortion? I'm it's a face. It's a face. Yeah, it's it is a face. So invested to the idea that we decided to have a full partnership with BSI. That that's one hundred percent. That is that right there is one hundred. If we're gonna say that's the nose and that's the mouth and then uh, is obscured in shadow. I'm Susan Wedding, the lead technical engineer for Bunny Smiles. That was way too quick. Hang on. All right, let me just quickly check. Uh, Susan Woodings, technical engineer, lead technician of BSI technical support, animatronic designer and technical engineer, CT technical supervisor, a tech supervisor. A tech supervisor for a bunch of animatronics. What could go wrong? <laughs> For Wait, have... what did the subtitle say? Yeah, Sorry, what did the subtitle say? I'm Susan Wedding, the lead technical engineer of Bunny Smiles. Designed and built animatronic masks for Barnes Burgers. We have... It didn't... Huh. Oh, wait! What's happening to... <laughs> wait, 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 What's happening? What is, what is she doing? <laughs> She's gonna. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, the kid's face. <laughs> sorry, the kid's face. He's gonna eat him. <laughs> also, what? Also, what's this? That's is that supposed to be um? Is that supposed to be um? Uh, a bit of bun. That's not a burger. That's not that's not a burger. Wait, hang on. Let me get, let me go back frame by frame. That's not a Oh. What is with the face distortions that show up for one frame? Are these like the remains? They're going to be the remains, aren't they? We added a ton of features into the models. Mhm. Mm we even make them have their ability to walk and interact with the audience. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Where do you look? One of them's gonna look. One of them's gonna look. I don't I don't trust them to to not look. Okay. Ah, Claire Deloon. Did I did I was there another Ah Hmm I love Cyberfun. I wonder who wait. Oh my god. Wait, it's a wait, it's Felix! It's a letter from Felix! Also let me Alright. Sorry, I'm just trying to... Aha! Uh -huh. Uh-oh. Alright. I thought I saw an... It moved! So there was the face! Alright. Do you reckon I can... Is there gonna be a clearer? Will I, will I get something clear? Will I get something clear from that? I think this is I think that's I think that's probably the best option to do it. You know what? We'll look at that now. We'll get it gets clear in a second. Aha. I think that might be the best. I think that's I think that's the best that's the best we're going to get. That's the, that, that's the best we're going to get. I see Susan so Susan has been struggling. I see that. But um let me all right, it is upside down. All right, let me just uh da 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 da. Ba da ba da ba da ba da ba. All right, you know what? We'll open we'll open paint, and then I'm just going to do control do this. All right, uh, and then we're just going to do rotate, uh, flip, oh, flip vertical. There we go. All right, I got it. I got it. All right, Mr. Crankin, this is Norman. I'm sending you this letter on behalf of our deal between Bunny Smiles and Cyberfun Tech, and most importantly, the well-being of our Cyberfun staff. We've been getting a lot of complaints about a number of our staff going missing, who was highly associated with you and your team. Susan Woodings has been missing for a wee. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. 
Uh, Susan Woodings has been missing for a week now, and here in Cyberfund Tech, we are working as hard as we can to try and manage to get in contact with her. Do they know? <laughs> Do they know? <laughs> Is there perhaps any detail you could hand us to help locate our missing employee? I'm going to be entirely honest with you, Mr. Cranken, and tell you I have a ton of questions and suspicions about whatever is going on with your company. Whatever it is, it's making both your company and mine look bad to public light. So again, if there's anything that would help us and Susan, write us back immediately. All right, so what does it? What does one say on the right, on the right way round? It says, Susan has been struggling to be our... Susan has been struggling to breathe. That's not good. That's that's not that's not good. In fact, I'm ready to say that's pretty bad. Oh hi, hi Boozer. Is that Boozer? No, that's not Boozer. That's someone else. I thought I was Boozer because of the mustache. Is where all the information and code is stored in the audio animatronic. How they can walk, sing, interact with the audience, etc. Advanced movement abilities and patterns. Wait, sorry. I'm gonna let, let me read this clearly. Um, facial. Wait, wait, facial tracking. Wait, that was a big issue in the very first Walton Files, uh, file, wasn't it? That was a big issue. That's a huge issue with most of the animatronics. That's that's the issue with most of the animatronics ever. Oh no. Oh no, it says recognize specific customers. Oh dear. Have they managed to feel so lifelike to our audience? The console is also able to recognize specific people and places. Specific people and places and it stopped there, yep. All right, I don't know whether this is going to be read, so I'll read it myself. Employee note, uh, BSI notes, the BSI console. The Bunny Smiles Incorporated console, I think, allows the, the, what the fuck? The robots of Bond's Burgers feel a lot more uh, lifelike. And now for a more, wait, and what did I say? What, what, what did I say? Something for a more fun and something experience. Uh, something experience, uh, allow, does that say allow? It says allow, okay. Allow for a more fun and interest, I think it's interesting, interesting, is it? No, it's something different. Impress, what does that say? It's, it's like looking at the the um the 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 handwriting. I think it's interesting, uh, or impressing experience. Impressing, impressing. Does that impressive to impress? Impressing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fun and impressing experience. I think this is an ambitious and in in what I, I thought I said intimidating, but it says something else. Something, something concept I would have never expected to make in my life. Innovative. Is it innovating? All right, innovating. What is with the handwriting? Come on, you gotta, you, listen. I can read cursive, right? Just write in cursive and I will be able to read this a lot better. It's like you get the pen and you're like. <laughs> like I could, I could get my pen right now and I'll show you my handwriting, but yeah, anyway. Susan did not disappoint at all. Absolutely stunning and delicate work. Uh, does that say Jack, Jack and, wait, something Jack, Jack was fascinated. Never seen anything like it. Felix was, Felix was both amazed and scared. He doesn't understand a thing about how it works. So Felix was, Felix was apprehensive. Hmm, hmm. Charles wrote this with his left hand. So it shows your feet writing instead. No. Imagine they got they got into let's see. Uh, Banny week one. Banny knocked over the table. Rework. Re oh, oh. So they were. So they were. So they've been. They they've been aggressive. Bond test went well. Recognized Sophie right away. Shah is next. Uh, magic trick, Boozer's magic trick bit went well. Uh, little rusty, but it'll do better next time. Week two, Banny fix, test went as planned. Uh, mask broke. Bond walk around. Bond walk around test went well. So they were just, so they're just testing right now. Or Banny's just really clumsy. And stupid and dumb. <laughs> Glitch trap. <laughs> 
bro, this motherfucker got the twin towels on his head. Just gonna make sure I didn't miss anything real quick. Okay, oh, it was just a glitch. Okay, okay, had to make sure. What is the Cyberfund console? What is the Cyberfund console? This was made in 1974. Walk around. T Wait, what date? What date was that? Walk around test. What's the, the, spook the Spooky's House of Jump Scares font? All right, the 21st of January, 1974. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't worry. It's working. First, we need to... Is the console on? Yes. Yes, Charles. I just told you. Oh, System load. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Cyberfront tech console. I know. Don't worry, this isn't the first test we need to do with the robots. Alright, great. You're taking notes. Smile for the camera. Uh, yes. Yeah, I am. Right. <clears throat> Press 203. Movement. Movement. Uh, Movement. Alright, so, Movement. you want to get the console working? Yeah. Okay, okay, so, what are we- This is- Alright. Okay, so actually, no, ne never mind. I'm just gonna let it. We placed a ton of objects around the room. The animatronic is supposed to get to us without bumping into any of the tables, boxes, chairs, etc. Sounds good to me. All right, so. What happens if the robot falls or comes across any objects? Okay, Banny's doing well. He's gonna have to test this out again until we get this right. Lads, lads, Banny's doing well. <laughs> you said it. Oh, oh. Alright, everything seems fine. So They're gonna do far. it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't think No! No! Damn it! I told you to watch for the table, man. Language? Where's the wrench? I check the drawer. I think Jack left. What? I don't see the, these transitions are like RPG Maker games when something pops in behind you just as it switches to the next screen. God damn it, Banny! One job. Console disconnected. Please reinstall console. On okay, use a console. All right, so all right, that's all right. Oh, I gotta ask who'd win, Susan or Hack? I mean, why does it have to be a competition? Why can't why can't we just work together? <laughs> why can't we just work together? Just have a virus put um just have a virus fix the robots. It's easy. Alright, facial tracking. That's a long no <laughs> why the long face? Alright, facial tracking. A couple of months late a couple of months later. I know I know. I'm just yeah, a little worried. Did call? She did, yeah. I'm gonna be totally honest with him. Knowing Felix, he's probably drinking somewhere in town. God damn it, Felix! Is sir. Jack or Rosewell? Nope. I don't think Linda told him how to eat her. LINDA! I think even Chris knows about the addiction. For God's sake! Let's just fix some work for now, shall we? Right. So, uh... Alright, it's Shard this time. I'm checking my notes right now. What's up with it? Alright, let's go. Well, Norman said we should start testing the facial tracking feature. So we're gonna have the robot walk around and see if it recognizes our faces. Alright, let's see if it makes it. Jack brought in Molly here. Alright, Shard's doing well. Well, yeah. Yeah, Shard's doing well. Shard's actually really quick with it. Uncle seems to have trouble detecting the faces. Oh, the test we did with Sophie. Right. Mm-hmm. I see how this test goes. Oh, Shah's doing really well. He's fine. Spending time with the mother. Oh wait, Shah stopped. That was quick. I identify face. I think is Shah gonna do it? Faces have been detected. There are no faces. 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 What? Shot got it. All right. What about? There are no faces. There are no faces. There are no faces. There are no faces. 
There are no. F I'm okay. Jo okay. Joke aside, I really like. I really like the fact that they're showing the inner machinations of how the facial recognition works because that was something we didn't get initially. Uh, we just assumed. Oh shit! They don't get it, do they? Like, I really, I really like this. This is actually a really good way of showing. Like. Ah, great. Everything seems to be working properly. Huh. So that means no more testing for today? What? Are you not? Ah, sweet. That could really use a beer right now. Oh, beer? Really? Really? Not cider? All right. Charles, oh, I... What we talking about earlier. Anyway, good job, Shah. Everyone, round of applause for Shah. That was good. That's good, Shah. Good job. <laughs> Who is that? Who that? I saw the. Oh. Can I recognize? Oh, the, oh, it might be too. It might be too. It might be too low quality for me to. To tell. You're like the first person I've seen that noticed. How did people not notice that? Like, it's like the first thing my eyes got drawn to. What are you looking at? Whose house is this? Is it intentionally low quality? And when was it? Hang on, when, 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 when did this take place? On the 13th of May. 13th of May. What I wonder what this is. Serious question. Favorite cider? Um, record leg. Right. I don't know yet. I need to probably get caught up with that. Could be record with Benny. What does that mean? That's what I heard, man. He was drunk while driving the car. I mean, voice a lot. You know that was oh okay sorry i'm putting two and two together this is like me re it's like me rediscovering it again oh okay sorry sorry i completely forgot i feel I, I feel like such a fraud now because everyone's gonna be like but you watched it but the thing is i haven't watched it since my initial viewing of the Walton files <laughs> sorry two years of knowledge <laughs> Susan knows too much. Oh my god! Is it gone? Molly and Ed? I don't even want to Oh no! They got him surrounded. <laughs> Are they getting closer? Nothing has changed. I don't even want to be involved in anymore. Yeah, they should have just left. Okay, really, really though, I think there's a point. I guess they have to do their job, but is there a point? What's is the pay worth it? Shit, Felix had rocket, which has the kid stolen. Remember, I think when they buried, when they buried them. Someone's gonna move. I'm gonna. Who's gonna move first? Who's, who's gonna be? Who's gonna move first? Who's gonna move? Who's gonna move? Oh! Oh! Oh no! Wait! 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 Wait a second! Wait a wait a second! Why are they doing the face? And the face is detected as well. There's two faces. There are no faces. There are no faces. There are no faces. Oh, the face is going to be fucked up. It didn't even do it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Guess who it is, guess who it is, guess who it is, guess who it is. No faces found, ay, 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 what have they done? 
Oh no! Was that something? Was that something in reverse? Was that something in reverse? It was something in reverse, wasn't it? It was. It was in reverse, wasn't it? Yes, I saw that. I saw that. Because at first I thought it was random moaning, but no, it's Ed and Molly. No faces found, it says, but it has an asterisk. So, wait, shh. I... Was that just a glitch? Am I falling for glitches? Hang on. Hang on. Wait. Yeah, Edamole. Yeah, it says Edamole. They're so disfigured, they can't be recognized. Yeah, because of the crash. Although, it's... They're definitely saying something. Hang on. I'm going to put the volume... Can someone clip this so that I can put this in Premiere and reverse it? Hang on. Wait, start the clip from here. I'm putting the volume up. All right, all right. All right, someone someone clip that real quick. Someone 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 uh clip that real quick. Cuz I want to um I'm going I'm going to put that in uh Premiere, but like I'm interesting. So rocket started moving of its own accord. Wait, what did it say it was looking? Use it was Boozu. It was Boozu. And both that Boozu was the one that was scanning them. And there was two souls in what? Uh-huh. All right, time to do some investigation work. All right. You know what? If we're gonna do some investigation work, I need to be just for the occasion. I'll be right back. Whoa! Yeah, you can talk amongst yourself. I need to go to my wardrobe and go get specific stuff. I'll 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 be right back. All right, there, there. All right, all right, there. Okay. Um, please tell me this fits. Does it still fit? I need to get bigger glasses. Uh, there we go. Wait, no, that needs to be all right. There, there, and then distance, put a distance. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take this. No, I'm not going to take that. That looks bad. So I'm doing some fashion right now at the same time. There. All right. Sure. All right. Sure. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah. Cool. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, I'm just going to hide this. I'm going to hide this. I'm going to go back here. All right. Uh, let's have some scuffed glasses here. There we go. All right. All right. Give me a second. I need to open the clip in uh, uh, Premiere Pro. I need to go. I need to open the clip in uh, Premiere Pro so that I can uh, go get a nice a nice um, audio based clip of it. I'm going to download it. All right, while I'm doing this, I need music. Where's my investigation music? Where's my Stanley Parable music? Or my tech, you know what? Cue the tech support music. All right. Okay, so we have downloaded it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show it in the folder. It is downloaded to my downloads folder. Now I'm just going to open Premiere. I don't have to wait a million years for Premiere to open. All right. Premiere is opening. Give it a bit. 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 See, uh, by the way, um, I, it is always morally right to pirate Adobe products because their business practices are terrible. Give it a. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me just quickly open Premiere Pro. All right. Uh, where are we gonna put this? I'm just gonna make a new project. I'm gonna make a new project. We're gonna call it Walter. Yeah. The project. The project is gonna be called Walter. All right. There we go. Come on. 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 All right. Um, we're going to put this on editing mode, and then I'm just going to get the, uh, take this clip, take this clip. All right, and we are in, uh, Premiere, we are in Premiere Pro. So let me, let me first take a, have a gander at the clip. All right. All right, so I'm just going to take this, I'm going to take this, and then I'm just going to do this, and I'm going to... All right. Because that, fa that face is so unsettling. All right, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do uh, speed and duration, uh, reverse speed. All right. What does... It, what? What? Okay, let me put that... Let me put that up. Oh, and you are 
Oh. That is very hard to. That's very hard to to to, to um to to clock. Hang on, I'm gonna put a volume up. All right. I heard. Is there anyone there? All right. Well, hang on. Let me let me try and increase the speed and see if that will help. All right. Hmm. Wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm putting. I'm putting. I'm putting that. Hmm. Hmm. That is very. That, that's very hard to. That's, that, that is very hard to tell what they say. It could just be gibberish, honestly. It could. It could be gibberish. It's just the way that it sounds. It sounds like it's been reversed. So. All right. Hang on. All right, I, I, I'm gonna get back to this. I'm gonna keep Premier open, but they're definitely saying something. I, it feels like they're saying something, or it might be just them yapping. Cause I thought it was just them moaning after like dying or something like that. That's what I was. That's what I was thinking. Anyway, let's go. Let's let, let, let us let us go. I think. Are we still on the same bit? Is there any way to delete that static sound? I know Kaz knows because the the Kaz does have the software. I have the software too, but I'm not good with that software. So it looks like both of those souls are in the... Both of the souls are in... Side. But it's not gonna, it's not gonna find a... It's not gonna find a... Face. Obviously. They're unrecognizable. Yep. No faces found. It is 100% reversed. UK ass teeth. I know we got good dental care. Did you catch the text changing at the end? Yeah, I saw Ed and Molly. Hang on. Yeah, I saw that. I, saw, I I've seen that already. Felix, pick up the fucking phone. Oh, ESI technical support audio log number three. The the wait the what the first? Wait, wait. Cool fact, there was going to be a green skeleton named Mr. Mutton Chops that would have appeared in this episode. He was kicked off the series for recent allegations involving not drinking milk to keep his bones strong. Damn it! <laughs> it's just like, damn! But wait, the first. The first. I have a feeling that I know where this is going. I'm not going to say anything. June 30th and... I'm not going to say anything. Wait. Why is it so much faster? Wait, who's moving? Who is that? Who is that? Wait, wait, that's the same thing from the very start. That's it from the very start. That's the same. Wait. Wait! Wait! It's like a mask that they put on. Wait, that is. They. Possessed. But. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Wait! And Susan got. Susan's in there. Oh no! Oh no! This is the maintenance from the 
f- is it is okay please tell me please tell me that i'm not i'm not uh, i'm not confusing this but this is is this what i think it is from the first one i know that ain't what i think it is just watched your corpse party vid and noticed you live i love that video have a good stream dude thank you jay for jaden No, get out. Bro, get out of there. Oh, that's just not right. Oh. Oh. I would just not. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Get out. He's not getting out. Susan's not getting out. Behind you! Hello? Behind! Behind you! I, I turn turn around! Press ZL! Press ZL on your switch! Hello? Oh good lord that uh, no Surely you gotta be aware of your surroundings, yeah. The animation's pretty cool. But surely you'd hear a big ass animatronic coming up behind you. Hey, whose feet are those? Whose toes are those? Ah! Ah! Oh! 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 Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god, it's scrubbing her! I, I, She's choking to death! Wait! Wait, she's paralyzed! Oh, he made her beautiful! Oh no, oh no, wait, no, 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 no. Oh no! Caroline, thank, thank you for the $6.90! You're donating as you're watching your character's death. <laughs> you're watching your character's death. <gasps> oh! Oh! Bun fucked up her face. You fucked up her face. Oh! That's not... That's not good. Okay, you can't... You can't be just... It's not... No, you didn't make it beautiful. I love how happy I love how happy Bond just like <laughs> just like I just did a great job. I did a great job. It's like the the the, the girl boss pose where it's like oh I did a I did, I did an amazing job. Look and and the applause with the blood like he thinks he's done a great job. And I think it's still alive. Miss Skinner alive! Uh oh. Oh no, he's gonna check. <laughs> this is not good. This is May 3rd of 1974. Thaf, can you please rewind the vid? I missed it because of my network. No. Joking aside, you can rewind the VOD or watch the VOD later. Or I might even get the T9 video out tomorrow. All right. Felix, open the fucking door! <laughs> Where the fuck are my children? Yep. <laughs> oh, that's. Does he wait? 
He doesn't know yet, right? He doesn't know. I know you can hear me. So I thought there was something there. God. So he doesn't realize yet. Oh no, this is going to be the realize it. Oh no. Oh no. And he did something to those kids. And he's under. Oh man. At 8.56 a.m. Oh, man, he stayed! Oh, man! Oh, man, Slender got him! Oh, he's covered in blood as well! Oh! Oh! No! He's probably remembering... He probably now remembers what he did! Oh, he remembers what- Oh, he was going to kill himself! Oh, no! Oh! Oh, maybe he succeeded- Oh, he dug his own grave! He was going to- Oh, no! That morning! And he's just probably clucked what he's done. Because he was drunk then. Oh, the backpack! Oh! That's the backpack from the... Oh my god, so yeah, no, 100%. 100%. That's them going to the afterlife. He clucked what he did hours ago. Well, I mean, yeah, but like, I mean the full extent. The, like, the guilt. You know what I mean? He already was insanely guilty. But like... It feels like this is where it boils over. From what I remember, Felix remembers every agonizing detail about the crash. Yeah, I think this is, but I think it's the, not even just a remembrance. I feel like it's just noticing the like, he knows all the D saw what happened, but now it's like, he, he knows he's so incredibly fucked. He, he is so incredibly like... Like, I, I feel like it, he's... It's reaching to... It, it's just... Got to him that it's over for him. Because he can't show his face anyway. He's actually... Wait, is he actually gonna... Wait, is he going to... Oh, he threw the bat! Oh! Oh, he's... Oh, he's throwing everything! He's disposing the evidence! Oh, he didn't want him to find out! He did not want him to find out! Oh! Oh! Is he gonna do it? I don't think he's gonna do it. Is he gonna do it? He's not doing it. He's not doing it. He's not doing it. He's not doing it. Oh, he, yeah, he can't do it. Cause that was the radio. That was the car horn. I don't think everyone's saying do a, oh my God, <laughs> you guys. Oh my God, you guys are all just like, Is it cowardice or is it? That was. Okay, uh, is it is it cowardice or is it just the fact that no one, even no matter what you did, and it's it's a really morbid fact that factoid that I know, but this was this thing that I was doing in like uh, my mental health kind of struggles kind of thing. Um, the, a lot of people who want to jump regret it the second they do because your body your your like your your mind will be like don't fucking do it no matter how 
low you feel, your your mind will be your mind will will fight you. Your mind will your mind will fight you. A lot of people who do it regret it afterwards, like in like instant regret. Self preservation is a very powerful thing. Hey, so. Three days after the accident, I haven't been able to sleep since last week. Felix does suck. What happened? It, it was oh no! He he waited three days. Those were, were it was the longest hour of my life. Oh! Oh my God! He waited three days to tell him and called him to the office to be like. Hey, so, um, your kids, yeah, your kids, your kids, your kids. So, like, you know that, you know, you know that scene from GTA 4? You know, like, Adam Molly, so you, you see the thing about, like, the afterlife, right? So, basically, base basically, yeah, I um, I I, I kind of my controller disconnected while I was driving, and um, I was driving at like a really high speed. I got hit with that pop up that said, "Please reconnect controller." <sighs> Couldn't find new batteries in time. <sighs> but like, we're we're, still, we're boys, right? We're still boys, right? Like, you guys are a mistake, right? <sighs> like, these mistakes happen. Also, what's that over there? I paused there and I'm like, I'm trying to clock what that is. Is that? The most painful conversation I've ever had. Pain in their eyes, the, the anger. They both hate me now. Is that really how you're going to just say they both hate me? They both hate me now. <laughs> like, Hate is an understatement. I was like, oh, probably, they, they probably hate me. I, I guess he's probably in like a, a fugue state because he's just like, what have I done? Like, what have I done? But you hate me now. It's, a, it's, not, it's not a discord argument. What you did is a crime. It's a crime. It's, I was gonna say, I, I was gonna, I was gonna make the argument for manslaughter, but no, that's murder! That is a crime! I don't blame him. I have no idea what, what's gonna happen to me now. He's probably my drunk, life, isn't he? My business, everything. Like, 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 why is, why is he, why is he, why is he worrying about the business? You killed. Back, they're still buried down there. He haunts me every night. He's me up inside. Why is he slurring his words? He's probably drunk. Rosemary asked about the doll. Oh my god, he kept it! And he lied! They left it at school. No! Why did you do that? The doll, wherever I go, there it is. And I can't get myself to get rid of it. Oh! It's like a constant reminder of this huge mistake and how there's nothing hey, I can hey, do to make hey, it. Hey! 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 Better. Hey! 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 I saw that slowly come up. I was like, wait, 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 wait. It's like a constant reminder of this huge mistake and how there's nothing I can do to make it better. Both when they're coming back for the doll. 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 <laughs> like you can't be lying. I, all, I, all I'm saying is that you can't be lying like that. You can't be lying like that. Or are they gonna possess it? I think they're gonna possess it. What, what did they grin before? Hang on. Sorry. Nothing I can do to make it better. Are they grinning? Oh, they grinning. They smiling. Just.
Yeah. Yo, hey, Draco. Scared Potter. The morning from before. If this is something... Oh, it's over. Get his ass. Like, why is the doll there? Apologizing is not going to do anything. There they are. Yeah, they're waiting for you. Wait, it's doing the same transition from the facial recognition. Oh, no. World star. His ass is dead. Dun, 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 what are you doing? July the 1st, by the way. Oh, they're watching. Okay, if my... I don't know whether my time... I don't know whether... Um my timelines are wrong but they're watching him do this are oh, they watching wait but are they encouraging it wait 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 his his attitude there's something about the attitude Sorry, sorry. I think I know. I think I I think I know. Also, I like the split I like that I like this um Fine, but be quiet. Is this fine, but be quiet, by the way? Sorry, I'm covering it. Wait! And if this is the white background, that must mean... That must mean... What did I say? Gonna be, uh, all right, wait, wait, wait. I think I think I know what it is. I think I know. Wait, wait. You worry. You're in safe hands. My hands. Welcome to Wonderland. Your new Willie's Wonderland. Isn't it beautiful? Hey, mine is. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Minor, t <laughs> minor typing error. Minor typo. Like, like no, okay, no, okay. No, 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 no. Alright, just real quick. I don't know why. Wait, wait. Beautiful. This this shot right here, right? 
Why does it look like there's a Mi there's either a Roblox character or a Minecraft character <laughs> behind them? <laughs> I know it's meant to be intense, but I'm <laughs> so sorry. Why does it look like Steve? Not yet, at least. <laughs> it's a hero bright sighting. Oh my god! So technically, they're still alive! They're doing this alive! Out there, you're slowly suffocating. But here, you're safe. The spirit doesn't pass on quite as oh, fast no! as the body does. What? I would know. I would know. Wait, I would know. What? My name is Bomb, and you're Sue. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I know you very well, my friend. My friend? I know you like to fix things, isn't that right? Well, so do I. Wouldn't you like me to fix you? I could fix her. Perhaps I could help you. Here, a gift. In before it said. Take a look inside. Yeah, what is it? Oh my god, Banny. Vanny. Holy shit. <laughs> anyway, um, I just realized that's similar to how he oh, see how, see, how do I say this without sounding wrong? How he possessed Bon or entered Bon. Because remember earlier in the video when he bas it basically looked like he was wearing Bon Bon was wearing him as a mask. Just like a beautiful Butterfly bursting from a cocoon. You will be reborn. You don't have to listen to me. That is up to you. But what other choice do you have? A spirit can survive without being tethered to a vessel. I know you're scared. Fun fact, I hit 2K on Twitter right now. TWF4 is ruined my Twitter notice. Too, but everything will be okay. I, I, I don't Apologies for what I had to do to you. But look, the hard part is over with now. There is, there it is. Without breaking a few. There it is. There it is. And that's the bashing on the door. And there's an eye in there. Wait, who? Whom stood of a, whom stood of a, there's someone there. Wait. And it just disappears. How are they going to do it? I remember that PNG. So they're gonna go through Wonderland and just
That was good. That was good. That was good. No, that, like I said, Matt said I'll I'll done him. No, that was good. That was that was great. That was great. Well done. Well done. There you are, Coraline. There you are. That was awesome. All right. There is an unlisted video. I need to find it. Two, so the two episodes to end this are going to be... Uh, to be continued in part two. Hmm. So that was that was it for that one. But before we before we watch, before we watch the unlisted video, that was the Walton Files four. We'll get to the unlisted video in a bit. But for what I've seen right here, yeah, well done, well done, everyone involved. That was one hundred percent worth the wait. I really liked the fact that it had the different, it actually went into how some of the animatronics do the facial recognition thing from the first one. I like how some, not everything, but some of the events of the previous three were explained. There is only one thing, there's only one thing that all these revelations at the end kind of worried me about. There's only one thing. And it's a uh, typical horror pet peeve that I have. I got worried around this section. I got worried that it was going to explain everything, like over explain everything. That is the one mistake that so, so many different analog horror series does where it's like, oh yes, you are most certainly dead. And this is the afterlife. And this is exactly how all of the animatronics are made. I we, we rip the face off and we do this. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Come back soon. I got worried that it was going to do that, but I feel like it's sufficient enough that you're still asking questions and it's not like oh it's not scary anymore we know exactly what happened i feel like it's just enough um explanation that we can get some we can get from this and the thing is is that we're not gonna wait long for answers the rest of the episodes are out this very month and the VAs were all really good. I am, I for one, I'm extremely impressed at the, uh, the, the animation. Like, the animation is really, really, it's like, it was the perfect Ang Angela Anaconda st uh, style that works with horror. Because I know that show was really unsettling for people to watch way back when. That is, that was fire animation. And also a really good usage of um the analog format for the tapes one thing i will say though there is one thing i really i will say and it's explaining what what how i think i think it's just a, a, um one smaller pet peeve i have about analog horror and it's um analog horror is decent when people use the format to tell the story but what what i don't get is it's it's a problem that I have with a lot of um like found footage or mockumentary stuff is that what do you mean by these files that they they managed to get like recordings of Felix just making um like tapes and recordings of him being racked with guilt you know what I mean like that looks like it was out of the tape how did they Walton the file? How did they Walton the files? How did they Walton that specific file? Because it's like you have all these, um, you have these scenes of like they're really well done. You have you have these scenes like um, like Felix about to um, Felix about to, to to off himself. You had like Jack banging on the door saying, "Where are you, Felix?" But how were these files Walton? Unless the tapes were haunted from the get go. Because from what I can tell in the description, um, 
They uh, the description specifically says, uh, yeah, back when I found the bunny farm tapes, I was met with a dead end. Uh, bunny Smiles Incorporated, Bunts Burgers gave no more results. The locals had no more info, and apparently, um, a friend, their friend David, approached them with an amazing find, and they found um, tapes and everything inside their total of twenty three tapes. So yeah. Anyway, where's the unlisted video? Am I supposed to find the unlisted? Am I am I supposed to find the unlisted video? Um, uh, elsewhere? Is it something that I missed in the video, or is it something I need to go and find Jack Walton? Check the Walton playlist. All right, <sighs> investigation time once again. All right. Playlist, uh, the Walton Files, view, view, view full playlist. We just do this and... Am I looking at Lacrimosa? Am I looking at Lacrimosa? Is that is that what I'm looking at? Is that what I'm looking at? All right, yes, yes. Nine days ago and I didn't, I didn't clock that. Okay, right, I actually didn't clock that. All right, cool. Lacrimosa by Mozart. Did you know that Mozart makes babies smarter? All right, let's go for it. Report 90892, May 4th, 1974, Brighton City Police Department. Felix Archer Cranker reportedly arrived at the station in the morning on May 3rd. He broke, he had a broken pair of glasses, dirty blue pants and a yellow dress shirt covered in dirt and blood. When I got the call, he was already taken into custody. We sat him down for a few hours and he revealed valuable information about the case we were previously told about earlier that same day by Mr. Jack Walton. Walton's two youngest kids, Ed and Molly Walton, had disappeared with Crank in the night prior. Felix's alibi stated he was unconscious for about 20 minutes. When he woke up, the kid had ran... Charles... Oh, wait! Oh, there's no, there's no subtitles for this, by the way. He lied. At 2 a.m., so this is soon up. What is that? Oh, it's broken. What was that? What is that? Is that what I think it is? Uh oh. I was gonna say, look, one of the kids? No. Uh oh. Uh oh, lads. They found the evidence. They found evidence. The CT console the is a farm tech console is a data disc filled with all the vital information of the Bond's burgers animatronics. The console contains the main patterns for the robot's movements and interactions with the customers. Minecraft app music. The console allows the animatronic to have advanced interactions with the audience. Yes, we know this. Most notable one being the walk around feature, which allows the character to roam around the place. For safety protocols, the console allows the robot to visualize its surroundings. The fitness this avoids the character falling, bumping onto objects, or even customers. This feature is called map tracking, and it works as a basic radar for the animatronic. The map tracking feature records audio for safety reasons. Once the console is removed from the mech, technicians are allowed to see the recording from the animatronic's perspective. If any console recording contains any error or faulty programming, please contact Charles Brook. Aha. Uh -huh. What does that say? Are those, is that a number? That's a number, isn't it? That's a, that's a number. The service number is faded. That is bad. That is bad. That is bad. But you can they can see recordings from the animatronics perspective, and they that so that's how they probably got the footage from the. F
be fine. There's a fa- I think there's a face fading in. ...facial features. This technology is still a little faulty and in testing phases, as the console can only yeah. detect a limited amount of combinations, which means a person could easily... Hello. Wait! Wait! Stop! The technology is still a little faulty, as the console can only detect a limited amount of combinations, which means the person could easily be mistaken by someone else. Oh. Features. This Maybe there's someone knocking to get out. That's true. In testing phases, as the console can only detect a Whose face is that? That is a face. Limited amount of combination, mm. which means a person could easily. Hello. I thought it thought it was her. Uh, I'm, I'm calling to inform uh, my my colleague, or well, my friend Susan hasn't shown up in a few days. That, wait, 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 Susan's still alive throughout the whole thing. Susan's paralyzed. Something may have happened to her. I do not, I, see, the thing is, I don't know whether this is supposed to be, um, that. No, it has to be then. It has to be, because that was at the end of of um of wonderland the exact cut off png of this image i swear it was at the end no no not just chapter one it was the end of like wonderland as well it was so it has to, is it not jack is it like a manifestation of jack Apparently she was here on the 30th. But Jack is still alive! Sure. I Where's Charles? That day. Charles is next! Please, if anyone uh -oh. has any information, call me. I know, no, no, but I'm thinking. Please. Who? It has to be Ch It has to be Charles. Wait, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. It has to be Charles. It has to be Charles. Charles is facing the Walton Files 3. It has to be. It has to be Charles. I need to see the whole thing first. Called in sick that day. Please, if anyone has any information, call me. Is it Charles? But doesn't Charles possess Boozoo? Yeah, what happened here? Information, call me. Please. So who is that? Hmm. And that's... Hmm. And this is the... That's the same view as... Ah! A face! Facial recognition! I probably definitely should put epilepsy warning for this video. The guy possessing Bon is Bon, yeah, inverted commas. There are no faces. So whose face is it gonna be? Ah, so this is where the possession begins! Breathing, choking, spike, am I choking? <laughs> oh, her neck is, hey, your neck, kind of just that, I mean that, go on. Got the breathing, oh, they're making a walk like that, oh no. Her neck is still broken. She had no choice. But Bond's so inconsiderate. Just never fixed the face. The rabbit is, and then the, y you know the scene. You know, you know the scene. 
You you know it. <laughs> you know the scene. Do I do I do do I dare do it again? <laughs> do I dare? <laughs> do I dare do it again? <laughs> I don't do it. When she gonna look at the camera? That's true. Do I even have the sound? Do what? I'm confused. What? Oh, you don't you don't know what I did last time I did that. Wait, I'm getting scanned. I'm just gonna lock in. Locked in just for that. All right. All right. So originally I'm going to have to do this from my, you know, what if I just did it from my phone? Hang on. Hang on. Now I need to find it. I remember it took me a merry ages to find it. They don't know. All right. Hmm. 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 No, it's not the my asshole burns bit because that's Sha. That one, that one is Sha. You got to get it. You got to get it right. That's, that's Sha. Not, um, all right. God, I'd, wait, do I still like, please tell me I still have the sound. I surely have the sound. I did not lose it. Also, wait, can you tell me the name of the sound effect? I need to know. No, I have to, I, when I find it, maybe I will, but I have to find it first. Unless it got removed from YouTube. Which it could have. Oh, no, 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 found it. All right, all right. So you, you know that, you know that, you know this specific, um, you know, you know this specific sound? This one right here, wait for it. Wait for it. We play this for out. Does this sound? <laughs> it's such a good sound. It's such a good sound. Oh, wow. Actually, sees it now. <laughs> oh, my God. What's the sound called? Um, when mum finds poop sock. That's what it's called. I thought it was gonna climb up the TV. I was like, don't steal my don't steal my bars. <laughs> why is he staring my like bar? Why is he why sorry I just It's like it's like when when FaceTime when, when you have to like use the face ID on your iPhone and you have to lock in. Her head's normal and everything is just all right. Face ID. This <laughs> is <Just> face ID. <laughs> oh, she locked in for that. What? Her head's not fine. I got you baited. No, I don't want to follow. <gasps> Wonderland! Oh, whoa, 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 what happened to your arm? Yo, what's up? Oh, that is! Oh! Oh! Nah, man! Oh, allow it! She was so close! Wait, it's without the mask! It's without the... Can I... There! 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 I think that's the closest I can do without... Um... That's the closest... I can get... Without, um... The, the, the video ending. That ain't Jack. Bun, without, without the, the the without the the face mask. I'm pretty sure. Wait, I'm gonna press one more time. Yeah, no, that was it. That's it. That's literally the, the that's the that's the clearest it can it can get. So wait, if profiles can be programmed into the robots, does that what does that mean about the names the clown was saying in episode two? That is a very very good point to make. I think that's um, bo it's Bun. But I think the real question now is, who is Bon? Because we were, so, I, I remember watching the original. I was so convinced that Jack had possessed or like at least corrupted Bon in 
one one shape or form. Like, I was so convinced. I still am, but I'm sli- I'm I'm like, is it though? Is it? It's been shown multiple spirits can inhabit an object. Maybe Jack and Bond are there. I was, yeah, I was so, I'm, I'm, I was so convinced. Cause it says Susan's the first, but Susan's obviously not the first. Susan's probably the first kill. I'm pretty sure. I think Susan was like the, the first kill. I'm pretty sure it was confirmed that Jack didn't possess him. It, it's not a possession. It's not a possession. So I think now the real question is who is Bon, inverted commas. Susan was the first kill by Bon's hand. That's what they meant by the first. Jack is missing. Yo, Jack is missing. Nothing says he's dead. But the thing is, the, you know the thing about someone that's missing? Missing, presumed dead. People have every right to think that Jack is either dead or Jack is Bon, but you wouldn't know. And she was the and the thing is, when Susan was getting murdered, they were hit they saw everything. The kids saw everything. Didn't Martin say that Jack isn't dead? Listen, I so if I haven't been really I haven't been in the the Walton Files like law since the watching the originals because I want to experience this with you guys at the same time. But why would Jack Jack wouldn't kill Susan, so it can't be Jack. Who is Bon? Because Charles was like, Charles was like, was boys. The kids would have recognized him. Or maybe they can't recognize the monster anymore. Or maybe it's like overcorrecting. Huh, that's interesting. I, want, I actually wonder where the theories are going with this one. But that was, that was the Walton Files and that was very much I legally cannot uh, comment on this matter I can but I'd be a bitch for spoiling listen to be fair I don't care too much about spoilers but it will be great to experience it at the same time so I don't know if you have any, if, if you have news if you have news or clues that would be great anyway that was the Walton Files and do you know what I'm going to say it, Martin still got it. Martin 100% has still got it. I'm still asking questions. I'm sure people in the um, uh, people in the comment section of the T9 video or the VOD also probably have their own questions and theories and lore and everything. And it was actually a really good dive back into uh, the Walton Files because it had been a while since I last watched anything to do with the Walton Files. I really enjoyed that. And I know the next two episodes are probably going to at least wrap up some of the storylines. So I'm interested to see where things go from there because it's still, it's episode four. We haven't seen a single Borgo. Martin, that's so much clickbait. Make some scran. Or, or you can just like go to, go to Mecca's or something. Take a picture of the burger and then put an analog filter on it. I did that years ago. In fact, I'll put a picture of some scrap that I analog horrid like three years ago. I'll put it on the screen right now. Because the editor's probably going to put it on the screen. But anyway, um, I think... A uh, quick question. Is going to McDonald's for Valentine's bad? No, I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's that bad at all. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this, uh, I guess watch along of the Walton Files. Um, if you guys would like me to watch more stuff, leave suggestions in the comments down below. I really enjoy, you know, I really enjoy watching stuff, but I don't want to be a huge React Andy. I, I don't, I don't want to be a massive React Andy, but if the, uh, the occasion calls for it, I will. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. I for sure will be dropping videos about the Walton Files 5 and 6 when they are released. But for those of you guys who are watching on the second channel, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in another video. Okay, now that that's done, VOD viewers, VOD viewers, you get some, um, well, what do you guys think about, uh, the, where things are going? Well, what do you guys think? I mean, let me, let me have some, um, my mom got me some, uh, smoothie, by the way. It's really nice. Mmm. A kaiju virus having smoothie? More likely than you think. Felix killed Dumbledore? No, I think, I think Felix is a Horcrux. E the Krypton in question! Thanks for something that did for 42 months! What smoothie? I don't know, it just tastes. Faf Chocky. Mmm. It tastes pretty good. I'm deeply curious where the Bond character's going. Yeah, I'm I'm really interested to see where Bond goes from here. Like, genuinely. I really I I like how I got so scared. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I was scared shitless I was going to do the whole over-explaining thing where it was just like, I am the author of all of your pain. I am the one that possessed Felix and got him to drink and kill, kill Jack's children. I am the one that caused everything. I was so worried that I was going to go in that direction. When that, when that slender man with a face, when that showed up, I was so worried it was going to go that whole, the, the, the FNAF route with that one. I was, I was, ooh, I was, I was, I was worried. I was worried, but it didn't. It didn't. And I'm actually really, I'm really grateful that it didn't go in that direction. I'm so grateful it didn't over-explain everything, just saying, Oh, these are most certainly all the possessed. The possessed animatronics, they, we possess them. We made them so beautiful. All it did was just answer questions that the first Walton Files and the third one, like, put forward. Like, e and also, Bond does mention, uh, Bond does mention specifically saying that um they'd experienced that pain before so i don't know like i i feel i feel like it's it's a good episode and i'm interested to see what five and six are going for um uh the jack is bond theory see bond said he experienced a lot of pain but i don't know whether that was I don't know. How about the founder of Cyberfun Tech? Maybe. I did I don't want it to you know what I don't want it to be? I don't want it to be a whole allegory for corporate um uh the corporate struggle. You know, like I really I think it'll be really funny. Um six is peak, bro. Don't excite me like that. But yeah, like I don't want it to turn into a a corporation dick swinging uh, contest where it's like the corporations do increasingly fucked up things <laughs> i don't I, it would be so funny if martin had that as the story where it's one corporation versus another corporation and they do increasingly messed up things like oh we do this and then no we 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 um we we make the, the burgers terrible oh well you're gonna make the burgers terrible we're gonna make the animatronics creepy oh you made the animatronics creepy well i'm gonna kill your kids and then it's like, oh, you're gonna kill my kids. I'm gonna <laughs> Thank you for gifting me nine subs. Like I, I really, I really will find it so funny how I, I will find it absolutely hilarious if it turns out that the whole thing were just corporations uh, fighting each other, where it's like, they do increasingly messed up things where like, they're like, wait, wait, hang on a second. You you killed my kids. Well, I'm going to kill, I'm, I'm going to murder your, your, your best, your best friend. And then um, it's like, oh, you murdered my best friend. Well, I'm just gonna bomb your entire building. Like, <laughs> and, then, and then the last episode just turns out to, um, the last episode is literally just them, uh, getting an army where I'm just like, I'm going to hire, I'm going to hire the Rosers. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to kill all of you. We're going to, we're going to declare war.
Hmm. I think it will be funny if it's corporate corporate sabotage gone wrong. If you ask me, up until this episode, I thought the Bunny Smiles Incorporated were hiding the bodies to cover up the murders and have no idea about to possess animatronic going around. I'm like, oh, they do. And the company they're declaring war with? Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Fazbear Incorporated. It's like two um, two companies. Where it's Fazbear Incorporated, Bunny Smiles Incorporated, and they fight each other by doing increasingly messed up things. Oh, you killed Ed and Molly? Well, I'm going to kill, El I'm going to kill Elizabeth. <laughs> oh, you killed, you killed Eliza? Well, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to kill uh, Susan. I was like, oh, you killed Susan? Well, I'm going to burn your franchise down. I think it'll be funny. And then, oh, oh, no, oh, I got, you got a big fancy pizza plex? Well, I'm going to corrupt all of your animatronics in the pizza plex, and I'm going to, I'm going to get the two children that have nothing to do with it. I'm going to get them to destroy all your animatronics from the inside. What if it, what if it's an inside job? E. Junjun Mura, thank you for gifting me 10. Oh, fun fact, Fazbear Entertainment exists in the Walton Files universe, but while everything goes wrong in Bonds, Freddy's literally has no incident. So is it like Candy's? Wait, so that's implying that it's linked to Five Nights at Candy's as well, because I know Candy's is canon. So Candy's Freddy, wow. And then you're gonna have like, what, what, what other corporation? What other horror corporation? Oh, fuck it, let's, let, let's put the Umbrella Corporation in there and just be like, oh, it was all run. It was all Umbrella all along. <laughs> Like, it, it was, Local 58 exists? All right, front lawn, f front lawn face up feet together, I guess. Why didn't Felix just do that? Like, why, why, why didn't Felix just do that? He would have, he, he would have, he would have got the problem sorted. Just front lawn face up feet together. Like, he already, he already sorted out the children. They did say the children were the smallest patriots. So, yeah, I mean, insurmountable enemy, <laughs> enemy forces. I think Felix clucked at first. He saw the insurmountable enemy forces and he took the kids and did the job for them. That's like... <laughs> like, he should have just done... He should have done the victory pose. He was in the grave. He already did... He already did, like, three quarters of the job. Why didn't he just finish the job? <laughs> what other... What other corporation will be linked there? I don't know. What if there's... What, what, what if there's alternates? What, what if what if what if it was an alternate the entire time? What if Bon is an alternate? What if what if Bon's an alternate and all of the Eldritch abominations came from the back rooms? It's like I don't know. Like it, it's kind of crazy. The, the the camera pans backwards up the Bond kill someone. It's just Wesker. Imagine at the end of the Walton Fowl Six, um, the smoke like there's like the smoke clears. And then in the distance, all you hear is just a help! Somebody! Help! And you're like, oh my god, no. Oh my god, no. And then um and then who who would walk in? Um uh I don't know, Nixon walks in and then just there's this the alternate Nixon and it's like I'd like to talk to you about the analog horror initiative. And then it just builds up to like the adventure. <laughs> like imagine if it's just the Avengers. Mm. And then, and then the um, the post credit scene. Oh my God! Some thank you for buying the notebook from the match store. Thank you for buying. Thank you for buying the notebook, Lias. Just wanted to say I adore your content, including both channels and streams. Smile, my brother, and I get excited for every new upload. Equals D. Thank you, thank you so much, Lias, for buying the notebook. Um, who would Thanos be then? That also just be the literal devil, like from, from like um and from um the Mandela catalog or something, or the Mandela magazine, <laughs> and it's just there. <laughs> oh my god! 
and then, and and then um uh uh like the uh you know the, you know the scene you know you know you know the scene where uh, everyone has to have you know the 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 lineup scene where um the cap sees everyone coming through the portals everyone comes in through the portals and it's literally like analog horror characters after analog horror characters they all come through corrupted TVs and everything and then at the very end you have like um you, you see like pet scott play on the big screen and everyone's like oh my god it's the thing from this <laughs> from pet scott and then you see like um you, you then see like uh john uh john ward with with the crucifix come through the portals and then you see like um i, I don't know I, you see you see huggy wuggy and then you see like uh i, I don't know that catnap comes through the tv and everything and then you see like um <laughs> i don't know uh who else is gonna come through the tv in this big crossover event uh, freddy's gonna freddy's going to be at the front and it's <laughs> it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna be like <laughs> don't don't you realize friends never abandon friends and then they all charge the um villains like and then you've got yourself adventures endgame but with analog horror and indie horror characters you know what actually makes me really depressed before i end stream uh one thing that makes me really depressed is that my friendly neighborhood didn't make much of a splash and that really depresses me i'm like Everyone's giving Poppy Playtime these accolades. Where the hell were you guys when My Friendly Neighborhood was out, hmm? Hmm? That's a game. That's a game. That's peak. You guys have been doing Dread XP dirty. You guys have been doing Dread XP really dirty. They've been giving you peak, and what have you been giving them in return? What have you been giving them in return? You've been giving them nothing. Like everyone is, everyone's talking about Zombo Zoss and uh, and and, and uh, Huggy Wuggy and stuff like that. Where where were you guys when my friendly neighborhood released that gameplay? That that gameplay. I'll make a main channel video about Jet XP games. I would. Think I won't. I don't like what Jet XP did to Amanda the Adventurer. What did they do to Amanda the Adventurer? I don't know. From what the developers told me, the developer, um, the developer was really happy with how Jet XP treated them. So I don't know. What did they do? What's the, am I missing? Law? James said it. James said. James said the uh, uh, Jet XP treated them nice. So I don't, I don't know. Explain. Main vid on Five Nights at Mr. Black's when SMH SMH. <laughs> Mezak perhaps. Overmerged. I don't think that's the case. I, I get what you mean by overmerged because they had plushies, but you say overmerged. Allow me to point you in the direction of a game that goes by the name of Dark Deception. You want to talk about overmerged? <laughs> you want to talk about an indie horror game that has merch for everything? Look no further. Dark Deception is right there. Because you have to realize this merch does fun. Um, the plushies do fund um, the development, right? Um, the, uh, the plushies do fund it. That's why they launch plushies because the profit you make from the plushies allows you to work on other stuff because you have to realize that there's not many developers developing Amanda the Adventurer. They can't coast along on just game sales. That's why they have the plushie sales. Does that make sense, guys? So next time you see someone launching plushies and you say it's a money a money grabbing attempt, sometimes it's um sometimes it's just because they want to fund the game because most you'd be surprised unless you're Zekas, you're not going to make most of your money from game sales. If if you get what I if you catch my drift, yeah you you're not going to make your money from from game sales unless you're Zekas or Mob Entertainment. But even then, Mob Entertainment still choose to make merch. So yeah, most most of the time you see merch, um, it's because of um, it's because they want to fund development. Games aren't games aren't cheap or easy to make. Um, Dark Deception and Yandere Sim collab did, that never came out, did it? Hack, have you seen Welcome Home? I don't know what that is. I know I have, a, I have a song called Walk at Home by um, Donnie, I think. It's a good song. You should listen to it sometime. Anyway, I'm going to keep stalling for the next seven minutes so we can hit the two-hour mark and then we can call it time. But you know what? <sighs> I love horror. I, I love indie horror games. I lied. I, I don't like many of them, but I like indie horror games sometimes. <laughs> I like indie horror games sometimes. 
In fact, you know, quite a lot of you guys are really enjoying my um my uh uh, uh my latest T9 video. Which, as a reminder, as as a reminder, watch the latest T9 video here. Uh, I need I need that pin. Let me let me pin that real quick. If you haven't watched it already, I gave you guys 90 minutes. 90 minutes of T9 content for you guys to enjoy. Um, let's see. Welcome Home isn't analog at all. Do you like indie games? Yes, I do. I like, well, I haven't played many indie Anna Jones games. Um, Hack, are you a Scringlo Binglo? Okay, but what is a, what is a, a Scringlo Binglo? Can a virus kaiju be a Scringlo Binglo? I don't think that's possible. I don't think it's possible. Anyway, I think immediately after the stream, is it worth me editing down this Walton Files video for you guys to watch tomorrow? What if I drop? What if I did actually drop uh, uh, the video tomorrow? What would you guys? Would, would you guys? Would you guys mind me dropping tomorrow? I can drop the vod. So what I'm okay. Here's the plan. Here, here, here is the game plan. Uh, the game plan is, I am going to. I'm going to set the VOD to upload immediately after this stream. If you do, I'll make a silly big of Susan audio for it. I mean, if you if if, if you want to, I, if you want to, I do not mind. I'm just gonna um, upload it onto T9 uh, probably um, tomorrow. But I am going to get a VOD of this up immediately after the stream. I'm going to upload the VOD of um, this now so you guys can enjoy it um also also i'd say uh what else are, what, are, what are people saying uh in terms of the t9 video i will edit i'll edit it probably immediately after the stream but if you guys honestly have suggestions for me for things for me to watch go for it like uh, hit, hit me with it because the thing is, I've been very, very, like, uh, on streams, it's very difficult to figure out what I want to do. So um, I want to just ensure that um, you guys get the best content from me. Watch the Big Les show. I've already watched the Big Les show. Like, what are you talking to me? Of course I watched the Big Les show. <laughs> no, of, course, of course I watched it. But yeah. Um, oh, God, we still got three minutes. Uh Questions? Que you got any questions? You got any news? Questions about my 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 content? Questions about hack? Questions about my OCs? Questions about the Discord server, which you could definitely join. I think you I think you should definitely join the Discord server. And if you have a if you're a Twitch subscriber, you can actually link your account to your Twitch, and you will get access to the server automatically if you're not there. If you have your Twitch account linked and you look at the connected servers, you can just join directly without using the link. Is hack a himbo? What is a himbo? Hack, what is your favorite food? Ram sticks. What's the relationship between each OC or your OCs? Um, it's 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 a cross between we like each other and we hate each other. Does that answer your question? Where do I put my drawings about you? Either you can either drop it on the subreddit, drop it on the Discord server, um, under the fan art chat, drop it on Twitter under the fan art, or um. Yeah, no, you can drop it. You can drop it anywhere. Just tag me on Instagram, like anywhere. Hack is a him. Hack is a himbo. Uh, he's dumb and big. Oh, okay. I mean, that is that. That's answered the question. Why did you time that out? What are you? What what are you? Uh, uh, a priest? If hack is so tall, why won't he come fight me? Because why do I want to? Why 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 would I want to fight people? I'd win, not not because I'd win or anything. Because I would win. But like, why can't we just be friends? Why why can't why can't we be friends? Can I get can I get those glasses? Um what glasses? I don't know what you're talking about. What what glasses? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Do you like my fan art hack? Yes I do. I actually saw it. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Do you listen to gorillas? Yes. Yes I do. I actually do. If you want hack to hurt you, maybe reconsider because I could. But peace is nice. <laughs> peace is good. You want a big kaiju man to kill you? No. What if it was called the Walton Freak? What if it was called the Walton cassette tapes or the Walton DVDs? What about the Walton Blu-ray? Huh, Martin? Yeah, I do. if you see this, I'll, I'll clip this and send it to you on on Discord DMs. 
it, you should name it Walton Blu-ray. The, the, the Walton Blu-rays. That's what you should do. I went hack to step. I shouldn't have read that because that is Streisand effect. I know you guys are probably going to say they mean this, but unironically. What about the Walton floppy disk? What What about What about the Walton floppy disk, huh? Huh? Oh, did you see that Harmony and Horror got an official VHS release? I don't know what that is. What about what about the Walton HD DVD? What what about what what about the uh, the Walton um and the Walton the MP3? I don't know. Anyway, we have hit the two hour mark. It is time for me to to uh take uh make haste and leave now. So thank you guys so much for watching this stream. I very much appreciate you guys came here to watch my stream. Now, I'm not sure whether I will be streaming tomorrow. The reason why I'm not sure about streaming tomorrow is because um, A, I want to get the video out and B, it's my it's it's, it's my dad's birthday. Uh, out of character? Yeah, out of character is my dad's birthday tomorrow. So I want to um, enjoy my day tomorrow. So um, yeah. If, I, uh, if I'm not streaming, that will probably be the reason why. But I will try and get you a, uh, a T9 video tomorrow. Martin has definitely still got it. Uh, thank you, Coraline, for joining this stream. If you want to watch this VOD, I will upload it almost immediately after uh, this the, I click stop streaming. In fact, I've literally, I've, I've got my finger on the trigger right now. I'm going to upload it onto uh, YouTube and then let it process, and it should be out in about two or three hours. Um... So thank you guys so much for watching this stream. Are we going to raid anyone? Is there anyone that we can raid? Let me go check as in if there's anyone that's live that I can raid. Uh, Weester's streaming. What is we streaming? Contexto.me. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go raid Weest. Let's raid Weest. What are we going? What are we going to raid Weest? Raid Queso. Why would I want to raid someone that has like two trillion viewers right now? Like if I if I had sixty thousand viewers, then maybe. But I don't. I wish I did. I wish I did. All right, let's hit Weast with the there are no phases. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's do that. I think I think that will be really really funny. Uh, Weast. All right, I want you guys to hit Weast with the there are no phases stare. There there are no phases uh, stare. Exactly like that. Now thank you guys so much for watching this stream, and I will see you guys. Well, if not tomorrow, on Monday. See you, everybody!